Film revenue is up, breaking records last year in the Santa Clarita Valley. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCB News Break for Friday, March 23rd. The city of Santa Clarita issued a record 359 filming permits in 2011, Mayor Lori Ender said in an address to the annual Chancellor's Symposium at College of the Canyons on Friday. This year's topic focused on the impact of the film and television industry on Santa Clarita's economy and how tax incentives can help filming stay local. 2011 was the busiest year yet for filming in Santa Clarita and we are the only city in all of Southern California to have our own economic film incentive. So we do everything we can to make sure that filming happens in Santa Clarita often and uh, we turn around permits in the same day, we make things happen that other cities can't. So we've made a name for ourselves in the film industry as being the most film friendly city in all of California. Attendees toured COC's Media Entertainment Arts Facility to see how the school is preparing students for the film and entertainment industry. Coming up off that story, this next one will not surprise you. The biggest job gains across Los Angeles County in February came from the motion picture and sound recording industry. Santa Clarita's job rate held steady at 7.4 percent, but that's an increase of three-tenths of a percent since December. Crawford said the figures indicate Santa Clarita residents who gave up looking for a job might be looking again, and they can get assistance from the city and COC's WorkSource Center by visiting scworksource.com. Coming up, get ready for this weekend's senior all-star basketball game. Find out how you can catch it after this break. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. It's Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. It's a great chance to save big on our most popular models. Recently, Tundra was ranked the most dependable large pickup for the seventh straight year. And right now, for a limited time, you can get 0% APR financing on a new 2012 Tundra. Plus, drive with the peace of mind that comes with Toyota Care, a complimentary maintenance plan with roadside assistance. With the season's best deals, I'd hurry in for this one. The great savings won't last long. Don't miss out. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. The same school construction group that helped finance Golden Valley High School is helping pay for some of the Heart District's school programs. On Wednesday, the Santa Clarita Valley Facilities Foundation presented a $100,000 check to the Heart District's nonprofit Wish Foundation, whose goal is to support academic and after school enrichment programs. Five environmental groups, including the Sierra Club and the Santa Clarita Organization for Planning the Environment, or SCOPE, have filed a lawsuit against the county for approving the first phase of a 21,000 home community west of the I-5. SCOPE President Lynn Plambeck says the public should know who is funding that Newhall Ranch project. This is out-of-state hedge funds driving this, and I think the community should know that because is that really who we want controlling our community. And now for our weather. We had partly cloudy skies today. Temperatures in Santa Clarita reached 64 degrees, 57 degrees in San Fernando, and 60 degrees in Ventura. Expect rain Saturday night through Sunday, clearing up by Monday with temperatures in the high 60s to low 70s throughout the rest of the week. We now have Dave Caldwell here with our local sports update, and I imagine you're going to talk about basketball. Basketball, it is the finale of the Santa Clarita basketball season. SCV TV will be televising the Santa Clarita Hoops finale. It's the senior all-star basketball games that will be played Saturday night at Saugus High School. In addition to the games, there will be a three-point shooting contest at halftime of the girls' game and a slam dunk contest at halftime of the boys' game. The first airing for the games will be Monday night at 5 o'clock for the girls, 7 o'clock for the boys' games right here on SCV TV with additional cable casts on Tuesday morning at 7 and 9, respectively, and Wednesday night again at 5 and 7. Check scvnews.com to get all the information on the games and their showtimes. This year's cable cast marks the fourth year SCV TV will televise the All-Star Games. Tickets for Saturday night's event at Saugus High School are $5 for, children, or excuse me, for adults, with children four and under getting in for free. All proceeds benefit the Bridges to Ability Foundation.
Tip off for the girls game is 5.30 and for the boys at 7.30. Turning to the scoreboard from Thursday, where West Ranch remains undefeated in girls softball after a 14-8 win over Alamany, Hart won big over Chaminade, and Golden Valley even their record at 4-4 with a win over Vasquez. And Ryan, we're talking softball here at the end. The league play is still a few weeks away. It doesn't start until April 10th, but already West Ranch, undefeated, starting to exert some influence, hoping for that first league title. All right, and lots of broadcasts right here on SCV TV lots with that of, basketball going oh, that's on. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're a busy man. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Uh, Rosie Rios, Treasurer of the United States and Senior Advisor to the Secretary of the Treasury, will be interviewed live on KHTS AM 1220 Tuesday morning at 6 a.m., Rios will be promoting the new public education initiative called Ready, Save, Grow. It's designed to help people save money, manage their resources, and purchase government bonds or other marketable securities. KHTS is looking for questions from the public for our host to ask Ms. Rios. If you have any suggestions, send an email to info at hometownstation.com. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam. This SCV news break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. Are you all you can eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all you can eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.